My guest on episode four of Lockdown Fever is Australian Olympic gold and silver medalist and skipper of the Japanese Sail GP team, Nathan Outeridge. He's living in New Zealand with his wife and young son, and this is the longest he has ever been without sailing. And sailing is his usual form of fitness, so not only has he yet to find new ways to keep fit, he's also been finding new ways to channel all that focus and energy normally saved to go out on the water into his garden. At the beginning of all of the lockdown, I thought, oh, this is a great opportunity. We'll, we'll do some work on the house, on the gardens. And before we got into full country lockdown, we got a lot of materials ordered and delivered here, um, you know, to make some veggie boxes and a lot of topsoil and lots of seedlings. And while I was at it, I got super keen and I bought new seed to, you know, seed the lawn again because it had sort of died over summer. And so on day three of lockdown, I reseeded the whole backyard and Em just looked at me and said, why are you doing this now? You know, like how we, we can't go anywhere and now we can't even go on the grass out the back. So I love how proud you are of your veggies. Well, this is what happens when you can't go sailing. You've got to find something else to be completely obsessed with. <laughs> <laughs> and that for you is vegetables. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who would have thought? <laughs> how are you keeping fit so that when we do come out of lockdown, you're ready to go? I don't think it's, I've ever shied away from saying that I don't like going to the gym. I have had to take to doing some exercise. It's a very good excuse to get out of the house because it's the only reason why you're allowed to leave the house right now. And um, we, we live in a really cool area. There's a couple of little mountains, um, it's got small volcanoes in North Head and Mount, Mount Vic just around the corner. And so there's a little five kilometre loop there where you can run up each mountain, um, which I do sort of every second day. And then the, every other day I, I do it on a bike. Can I come say hello? Oh. Hey Jack, how are you? Can you wave? Oh. He just wants to push all the buttons on the keyboard, don't you mate? Yeah, he's probably thinking if I push the red button, I know what that means. And then I get daddy back all to myself. Often when I'm on calls, um, you know, for work, I spend as much time as I can on mute because normally Jack's pulling at me or jumping on my lap and I've got Russell Coates there, you know, giving us all the update and then he'll ask me a question. I have to like hold Jack while I like try and respond. Um, and uh, yeah, he's, he's good value. But it is life in lockdown and um, I think, you know, for us, as I said, it's not a major change and, and we're, we're, we're coping just fine.